Hey everybody, it is Friday, May the 5th. Uh, speaking of the number five, I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes. I will struggle with that, I'll be honest. Uh, but listen, I just wanted to post something positive out there. Um, that's the whole goal of all these videos, is something positive for y'all. But man, I have some incredible news. I wasn't gonna post another video until my next post op visit, but this is such great news. I just, I had to put it out there in hopes that it, it encourages other people as well. So I had my first physical therapy appointment, one of 12, uh, that started this past Tuesday. I was supposed to be at another one today. Um, that's been canceled, and here's why. So they, they have you go in and do this assessment, what, what you're capable of doing, your range of motion, your strength, your ability, all together. They, then from there, they basically write you a, a program, so to speak, of what exercises, stretches, and whatnot to get you to where you should be at a certain time frame, which in my case is 12 weeks. That's where my Right now, my restrictions are wrote out for a 12-week time frame, so they've got to work within those restrictions. So he finishes up, and let me tell you, they worked me. It was like I spent a day at the gym. Um, I was sweating my butt off. I haven't done that shy of working um, <laughs> in a long time. So um, I get done, and he says, buddy, he says, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm canceling all the rest of your physical therapy appointments because you are at the 99 percentile of where you should be at week 12. He's like, so doing any more physical therapy appointments with me is gonna be absolutely pointless and a waste of your time. Um, saves me the drive, because it's you know almost 150 mile round trip for that, plus the time, you know, time for the drive and time for the actual session. Uh, that saves me upwards of about four hours a day um, of each one of those visits, and it's midday, so it just totally wipes out your day for anything productive. So um, all for that. Um, so he says that basically time is this constraint and that constraint meaning that they've got these restrictions set up for, like I said, 12 weeks so that they can only do a certain set of, of exercises and things that fit within those restrictions that will enable me to complete these said goals by week 12. But those said goals have already passed at week four. I mean, they're, they're sitting there calling calling me out to these other texts, you know, come check this guy out. Look at this, this dude's four weeks post-op. And they're just like in disbelief. Um, you know, I give glory to God there at the appointments and here on these videos because without him, I wouldn't be anything. Um, I wouldn't have this incredible healing that I'm having. And look, some of y'all can get negative and say, yeah, let's talk about that in another year. I don't care. I, if, if God wiped that away from me in a year, where I was pain free from now to, to a year from now, guess what I didn't have in that, that 12 months pain? I will take it all day. I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, you know, we'll cross that bridge. I don't believe that that's gonna be my conversation in a year. I think uh, if I do another you know video in a year down the road, I think I'm gonna be amazed at where I'm at. Um, physically, I mean, you're gonna see me dynamically change uh, in my physical structure just because I'll be able to finally get back into exercising again. Uh, my health's going to increase even better than it is. Um, I mean, I'm I'm stoked. I'm super excited about it. So, um, so I, I can tell you this. Um, he said, "Whatever you're doing, keep doing." He gave me a few extra things to add to that list. Um, you know, especially for helping out abdominally uh, with my core things. I can actually do like the one they call a, a hollow hold. Instead of doing, you know, you can't do any crunches or sit-ups, things like that. So this hollow hold thing, look it up. I'm not going to go into the details of it, but it it helps get your abdominals, um, you know, starting to, the building blocks for it, right? So that said, um, get off the couch. <laughs> like, this works. This isn't a Fauci fact. It's a real fact. Stuff really works. Eat right. Get the garbage out, the intake out. That's crap. Get off the couch. Get out of the bed. Get out of the house, walk around, enjoy your surroundings, your nature, you know, what God created and enjoy it. Um, get moving. Um, your moving is going to help you heal big time. You being off the pain meds is going to help you heal faster. Uh, all of that helps you heal faster. Your health, getting off the pain meds and getting out and getting moving and getting active. All of that will naturally, your body will naturally heal better, faster, and stronger. So... And I'm a testament to that. I'm not out there doing any Superman stuff, just walking, just walking and doing some stretches. So you can do it too. Um, hope this is a positive take for you. And man, it's great news for me. And I hope it's great news for you. And I hope that you're encouraged by these videos. And I hope that you look into getting this surgery. Uh, if it's been a naysayer for you, I hope this changes your mind. God bless you. Have a good day.